We've got an image here that has lots of uh, wrinkles in the background. It's roll paper and it's often difficult to uh, remove those. It, and if you've got roll paper that's been rolled up, it's been uh, gotten affected by moisture or heat, often it buckles and it's almost impossible to, to get rid of it, especially as it gets older. So then... Um, You've got this background and then it kind of detracts from the overall background. There's a really quick way that you can even out a background, a roll paper background using Photoshop. So what you do is just get a new empty layer above that. And what I'm going to do is just, I've got my brush tool selected and I'm going to bring my cursor across and I'm going to select uh, an area of pink that kind of represents the area that I want my background to be. So I'm going to go in here somewhere near the hair and I'm holding down the option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC and I'm just going to do a selection and then I'm going to come up to my layer, go down to the edit, fill and select foreground color. So that's the color that I just selected. All right, and so now I've covered up my image with the color that I want. Unfortunately, I've, st I've got a figure that's uh, now disappeared underneath. So what I can do is add a layer mask. So it's this little icon here. And then what I'm going to do is hide that adjustment and the way you do that is by inverting the layer mask so that's command i all right and so now if i brush with white it's going to reveal the area that i just ad adjusted like i just brushed on to this empty layer so i've got my Brush set to zero hardness, mode is normal, opacity 100% and I'm going to bring my flow right down to about 5%. Okay, and what I'm going to do just to help me out is come back here to my background image and I'm going to get my magic wand and I'm just going to click on the pink and then by holding down the shift, you can see the little plus button comes up. I'm going to add to my selection, make sure I get the corners. All right, so now I've got all of the selection made and I'm now going to click on my layer mask. You can see that it's selected because it's got the black lines around it. Come in with a brush and with that selection still active, opacity 100%, flow down to 5%. I'm just gonna come in and brush with white and it just brings in my new selection. And it's just very light, the adjustment, 5%. But what it's doing is very quickly and easily, I'm adding in the adjustment. I'm not gonna go too close to the hair because kind of around the model, uh, it looks pretty good. This is a really quick way to adjust a background on that. So I'll turn off the selection and let's have a look. We've got before and after, and that's just cleaned it up really quickly and easily. And if you want to now, I can come in and uh, do around the head, but I don't think it needs it. I think it's uh, done a pretty good job. Just like that in smoothing out the background.